Good evening. <laughs> I am in Budapest and tag. few days very excited because once I put this camera down I'm gonna take a shower and I'm probably gonna go to bed because it's 10 o'clock I've been traveling and walking and all the things so here we go all right real cute one bedroom apartment a little bed Little standalone closet and a Chardé rumpled. Minimally but tastefully decorated. Little living room. Little kitchenette. Open concept. Little space with a heater. I really love this accent wall, though that's cute or whatever. Recessed lighting. This is like HGTV, but could be. There could be more. All right, the bathroom. Most importantly, the little washer. So like I said, I mean, I'm a little bit hungry, but I got a few snacks. So I'm probably just gonna eat those, drink some water, because my whole life is dry right now. I'm so dry. At least my face doesn't look dry, but I try. And then I'm gonna plan out my day tomorrow. I was gonna chill, but I got a 24 hour, um, transit card which cost about six dollars USD so and it's for the buses the trams and I think some of the subways so I might have to go see what to do on La Mayana but I'm gonna see you in the morning right now I'm, she need to wash her life I'm gonna go try to find myself in the shower Fam. So I'm in front of the Hungarian parliamentary building, which is stunning. Like, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can say that the architecture here is just phenomenal. Um, I'll come back with some information in a minute. <laughs> okay, so the parliamentary building was built in 1902 and it's ginormous it has 691 rooms 12 and a half feet of stairs and it is the same height as st stephen's basilica which is also in budapest i'm in awe like i'm just standing here staring at it because it's just phenomenal and the architecture style is neo-gothic which means it's really ornate it's got a lot of pointed colonnades it's just it's fantastic so Budapest is um, two is a city separated into two. Uh, there are two sides, Buda and Pest, which are separated by uh, the Danube River and a bridge. That is the bridge, bridge behind me. Um, and y'all, these views—they are giving me everything. I just I don't even know what to say.
Hi kids, so I'm in the Central Market in, um, in Budapest. It's like, just what it sounds like, it's a two-story market with vendors and stalls. You can get food, like it has some of the best looking produce I have ever seen. Like I'm really tempted to buy my groceries here. Um, but I went to Brumi, which is one of the upstairs stalls, and they had a vegetarian dish. They had a stuffed eggplant, it's stuffed with like rice and veg, and it looks like it's covered in cheese. It looks delicious. So we're gonna eat it. And I got some lemonade, it cost me 2,600, yeah, 2,600 forks. So I'll put that down here somewhere. <laughs> Mm, that's really good. It's covered in cheese, but it, it, it's delicious. And then I got a side of it. Cooked really well, seasoned really well. I'm happy with it. Central Market might be the best place to try out a whole lot of different types of Hungarian street food. The Lango stall, unsurprisingly, was packed. It was hard getting through it. You could also get goulash. Like, they just have a lot of stuff. And they have vegetarian options, more importantly. Um, so if you are vegetarian in Budapest, you will be able to find something to eat. Vegan? I don't know there's a lot of cheese and butter and dairy things happening but like this is this is cool I'm glad I came here here's an important bit of information if you have to go to the potty you gonna have to pay a euro or 200 for us to go to the bathroom which is not uncommon for a lot of European cities you have to pay to use public bathrooms and there are not that many in Budapest um, mostly in malls and such Thank you. hi what is goose liver? We have different things. Oh, it's literal. Okay. This is a natural. Uh huh. The the block is with truffle. Okay. Or we have with wine. So you eat it with like uh, crackers. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. All right, y'all. So I am decidedly staying in tonight. Um. One, because I'm trying not to overdo it. I, um, I'm a little tired. I've hit sort of my uh, threshold for long-ish term travel. Um, I, okay, turn that off. Um, I've been gone for quite a while now. So, like, the way I keep myself healthy and from getting travel burnout is to take days in between on my travels where I'm not trying to do the absolute most, especially cause yesterday I walked probably like 10 miles, part of it with like a 20 pound backpack on my back. And um, I feet were hurting, my ankles were hurting. Also because my shoes will probably have to be thrown away after this. So I'm gonna do some self care tonight. I'm taking it slow. I did get out this morning and I went and did some things, did some vlogging. Um, made some content and now like I and then I went and filmed American in a foreign grocery store got told that I had to stop filming um even though I wasn't even filming at the moment I was just holding the camera but um I'm cooking so one of the things that I'm doing that's my noodles uh right now is to to cook a meal for myself um Mmm, that's good. Perfect al dente. Um, and you know, I cook meals when I can to sort of help me to not spend as much money. Although Budapest is not expensive at all, like your money goes far. I paid $14 for my groceries and I got some snacks. I got veg, I'm cooking a pot of pasta. Um, so, 
yeah i did that and i'm gonna probably do a face mask but yeah sometimes you just have to slow down and that's what i'm doing i have some work i want to get done before i get back to the states so i'm probably going to do that work on some batching things for the blog try to get some of the blogs written because i am behind on that but tomorrow's another day and when you are traveling at any length you have to be kind to yourself you have to take time to rest um even if, it, if it's a vacation or not, you have to find time to rest. And so I'm going to get out, do some more things tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm just going to just live in life, trying to figure some things out. I had some disappointing news today. Um, one of my articles got rejected from a major publication. But, you know, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep putting it out there, I guess. Right now, I'm just, I'm upset. And I'm letting myself feel that and... Try not, but try not to like wallow in it because rejection and disappointment are par for the course. So you can't just totally give up, but maybe it's time to reroute a little bit. So I'm going to be in prayer about that to see what that exactly looks like. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see.